Hello friends, this is Barbara from Wigs and Fluff. Now in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this cute little updo for Valentine's Day using the bling, which I really, really love. You can find these little heart-shaped bobby pins in my description box below. Where to get them on Amazon, they're really cute. You can get them in a day or two. Now then, I'll show you just exactly how to do this little updo. But first, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment below, and stay to the end of the video, you're gonna like this updo. Now then, here we are. I'm going to get up out of my chair, my wonderful little chair, and I'm gonna take this down because I wanna show you how it's put together. It's pretty simple, not that difficult, and it starts with simple cooperation. If you remember, half up, half down, and I used to do this with my girls a lot, put their hair in cooperation because it was the one way that they would allow me to do their hair and without complaining. So, I'm not going to see a whole lot of me on this video except for my hands and uh, except for me doing this. I'm just going to clip this out because I put it in there really tight and I can't get it out very well. So, these are just these little uh, rubber bands. Let me see if I can find one. All they are are these little things right here. You can get them uh, in the store uh, in a package sort of like this. You can get them online from goodies. These are just these little transparent little, you can get them small, medium, and large. And you'll need probably some bobby pins and a comb and a brush for your wig. And I like to use a little bit of the Simply Styling because this is a very long wig. Now this is the Always wig. This is my Always. Beautiful, beautiful Always wig. And she's nice and long. And the Simply Styling Spray really helps get the tangles out because if you have a long, long hairstyle like this, you're going to get tangles. One of the best features of having long hair for an older person is that you can certainly wear it in updos and ponytails. And that just is very, very nice. Now I've got her combed out. I'm gonna cross in front again. I'm gonna be crossing back and forth in front, just to let you know. I'm doing the best I can to make it easy for you to see. But I'm just gonna do your basic, what I call cooperation, half up, half down. I used to do this with my girls a lot when I was bringing up my girls. They did not like me to put my ha their hair up. It felt too tight, like most little girls don't like that too much. It's too tight on their head. But sometimes you just like to get their hair right out of their face so they can see what they're doing at school. So basically what I'm doing is just combing it back and smoothing it out. And then I'm just gonna put in put it in one of these little rubber bands. I don't know if you can see that. These little translucent rubber bands. Half up, half down. That's the first step. And I do it twice. I put it through twice. Because 
you want a good tight hold. And these are so cheap that you can just afford to cut it out like I did before. If it gets too tight in there, you, you're worried about things. And I like to go ahead and give some texture to the hair a little bit. You'll probably want one of these teasing combs. I always keep one of these around no matter what. They come in so handy. And you can use that tip to uh, give texture to the hair. All right, so there she is. Now then, what you're gonna do is divide. I'm gonna walk in front again so I can <laughs> get to the right side. And you're just gonna twist it. You don't want this ponytail in it. You're just gonna twist it, twist it, and twist it, and twist it, and twist it. That's all you're gonna do. Now then, you're going to come down here and find a little hole. There will be a little hole where you can stick your hair through. See my thumb coming up? You make yourself a little hole and you stick that down in there and you pull it through. It's easy to do. It really is easy to do. You want to fluff it out a bit, not too much just yet. And then you're gonna come over on this side. I'm walking in front again, sorry. You don't wanna get the ponytail in there. This is going to end up being the point of your little heart bun that we're trying to make here today. So this can go up in here at this point and you can secure that with a bobby pin. I don't feel like that's really in there yet. So you've got, basically you're making this part of the heart. Now you're going to come over here and you're going to start twisting. And I found it easier to go toward the ponytail on this side. If you can see, I'm just twisting the hair. And you're going to go right back through that same hole. So put your finger down in there. Find out where it comes out. And then just stuff it in there. Sometimes these, these come right off. They do, you just have to put them right back on. They come with a little adjuster. No matter how, many, how tight you try to get it on there, it will work its way out. But you just have to keep putting it back on there. All right. Now, back to the stuffing. Now oh, the sides come out, okay. There we go, now we're getting it. I'm gonna cross back over again. I'll fix this in a second. Now you want to take the rest of it that's left and you want to put it in a little, I'm sorry for going in front, had to get a ponytail, one of these little ponytail things. And you're going to put it up underneath. And we'll secure that with a bobby pin. Now 
Now then, now then we'll see what we can do. Now is when this little tool comes in handy. Because you want to fluff that out as much as possible. There we go. That's looking a little better. And then lastly, you want to get your clip. And you want to stick it right in here at the top of the of the bun. There we go. And that is how to make that updo. It's really simple. It's just twisting the hair. It's not that difficult to do. Really, it isn't. You can practice it and try to get it as good as you can get it. Now then, let me cross in front again. I want to talk to you about something else. Actually, I'm going to move this to the side. Back over here. There we go. The pretty updo. So, now then. We'll turn it so we can see it a little bit right there. Right there. I need a wig over there, and I think I had one. I think that's what fell. This is the Landry by Paula Young. I keep her on a wig head, and I had her right in here, and she fell down. There she is. All right, this is the back side of that particular shelf. So, anyways, now then, I want to talk to you about something else. I want to talk to you about Jesus. Jesus loves you so much. His love is overwhelming. He knows everything about you. You are the apple of his eye, and he wants you in heaven with him. Trust in him today. Believe in him today. You will never regret that decision. He will change your life for the better. Just believe that he died on the cross for your sins and that God raised him from the dead. And believe that he is the King of kings and the Lord of lords because that is who he is right there. Now that's my story for today. And in tomorrow's video... I'm going to be presenting, oh, Instinct by Eva Gabor. I'm wearing it right now. I decided to start putting the wigs on and wearing them the day before I review them because it gives me a better sense of how it looks, how it feels, and how it wears, and what other people's reactions are. So far, I've gotten thumbs up on this one. It's a little bit retro but it's also very classic. And you can see how beautiful that looks. Very, very beautiful. This is The Instinct by Eva Gabor and the color is Ginger Mist, just in case. And I'll be reviewing this one tomorrow and I'll let you know how she works out today and how she wears and what uh, specific compliments or comments that people have as I go about wearing this wig today. Now that's my story for today and I'll see you tomorrow. Hope you like the updo. Bye.